All right, assembly time on my Duramax where I've got the head gaskets or tore apart for doing head gaskets. Um, and if you are just about to do head gaskets, I'm just going to get right to what you need to know to do a set of head gaskets. If you don't like watching my videos, I understand. I don't watch them either. <laughs> um, so you'll need head gaskets, obviously, when you're buying parts for it. And um, if I was on a budget and trying to save money, I would 10 to 1 buy good Molly gaskets and cheap GM head bolts for the heads. So the Molly head gasket is way superior to stock. It's got this black coating on it and they tend to just seal way better than the stock GM head gaskets do. Um, so you'll need an upper end gasket kit with most of the time the upper end gasket kits don't come with head gaskets. You gotta actually add them to the, the kit. So upper end gasket kit with good head gaskets is anywhere from six to $800 with all your gaskets and, and, um, and head gaskets. And then you may have to add a little bit to that to get new head bolts. Um, and then this kit from Dirty Hooker Diesel I like comes with all the hardware for the manifold up pipes and then I accidentally um, got I ordered with the head bolts too so I don't need head bolts I've got a set of used head studs just cheap 625 or I'm, I'm sorry uh, 2000 series head studs from ARP so you'll need that You'll need thermostats and you'll need glow plug. So, and then the one other thing you'll need is a good machine shop to send your heads out to. So I actually sent these to a local machine shop that did a really good job and it's had a ton of abuse. So I've been running it for 100,000 miles, over 600 horsepower. And the, oh, that kind of, if you can see that. So um, the machine shop said, they called me and told me every single valve seat was leaking, um, intake and exhaust. So um, I know the EGTs have been really hot a lot of times. So it's probably between that and just the miles, the wear and tear. So all the valves looked good. So um, they just put new valve seats in the whole thing. So I actually spent $800 at the machine shop getting all that done and getting them decked and pressure tested and cleaned up good. Um, the only special tool I recommend have is you can order these online. It's a carbide blunt end. There you can see it, a uh, scraper. So it's just flat on the end, but it's a really hard material. And I already started cleaning because I thought I was videoing, but I wasn't. So um, go to this surface right here. It's rusty and oily. You can see it just peels it off. It takes rust off, takes gasket material off. That's actually pretty smooth already. Um, I don't recommend using any power tools because when you're doing power tools, no matter how even and straight you go, when you get to one of these edges, you're gonna round it off more than you're gonna take off this. So the most important part of the head is gonna be rounded off. Like right in here, you're gonna round it off more. You're gonna round it off around where the head bolts go. You're gonna round it off around the coolant passages. You're just automatically gonna round off every edge and also the worst part about using something to buff it and to get it perfectly clean is i don't know if you can see these machining marks the where the factory cut the top of the block you got these round machining marks where the tool went down it and those grooves will actually um where it goes up and down adds more sealing surface to the gasket so i think um i think the factory when I was doing factory training on these engines says it adds 20 to 30 percent more sealing surface 
or something crazy like that when you got the, mach the machine marks in there and those grooves. So the worst thing you can do is polish this off. So never use any power tools, even a wire wheel. So just use something like this. And then also, I will spray some penetrating oil of some kind. I use WD-40 on a Scotch-Brite. Just, just to finish it up. And, and penetrating oil so it's not as abrasive. You don't, you don't wanna take, you can see the stains in the block where it's different coloring. You don't wanna take that off. That's, that's totally fine to have the stain marks there. Um, you're just cleaning off what the scraper didn't get. Going around everything. And uh, this is the most important part of the whole head gasket job. So take your time and just get it good. It's more important to get it clean with this because this won't take the machining marks off the block. Wearing it out with this will. So you just want to be gentle with that. Now I might have to go over it again and scrape some more stuff off. I always use a microfiber because it doesn't get any extra fibers in there. See, it's still got the stains on it. But honestly, all that is pretty much good. That's about where I'll leave it. Bye -bye. And it will be sealed and they will be good for a long time to come. So I'm gonna keep cleaning them up. Um, another important thing, make sure your little dowels, you can see the dowel on the end of the head there, and the dowel on the very back there. Put those back in the block and put the head gaskets on. You can see the L for the driver's side or left side, it needs to point up. It is possible to turn them around and face it down your little tab on the end of the head gasket right there will turn in will hit the up pipe but um, make sure that the letters are up this side will have an r obviously but left for driver's side point it up clean it up good and throw the heads back on so that's about all you need to know for doing head gaskets on these it's not that bad All right, something else I always do when I have uh, head gaskets off on stock trucks, it doesn't make a difference. And honestly, higher horsepower trucks it doesn't make a difference. But when I have these intake manifolds off, you can see these are all cleaned up. And I don't, it's kind of dark, but you see that ridge in there is way out in the way. Um, and then that one is the one that I've taken a little uh, aluminum burr wheel too and open those way up you can take a ton of material off yeah, that, might, that might show it a little bit better so you can see how that one's all rounded off Let's see if I can get them both in the same screen tilt it up into the light a little bit better so that one is, is open and that one is still um, you can take it off both sides that one's the same deal. So, keep assembling. So whenever you're putting that cylinder head in there, you want to get your ground strap back on the back of that head. And this head stud back here, um, the nut's already on it just because I, it's a used set. But I always hold it in there with a zip tie uh, just around that spring lightly so it'll hold it up because that is the only one that will not go in with the engine in the, ca in the chassis and the cab on. That's just putting head bolts in and torquing it down.
So heads are on, they're all torqued. It's time to do the valve adjustment on it. I do have the uh, rocker assemblies put on. Uh, every time I've done the valve adjustment quite a few times on Duramax, and every time I do it, I still have to uh, get up to see how it's done. Um, the best thing I've found is Merchant Autom Automotive on their website. They show you um, when you turn it over to top dead center, you can see that on that picture. It, it tells you exactly that there's a little mark on the crank. You turn it over to where it matches the mark on the engine. And then it tells you exactly which ones to adjust. So let's get after it. As you guys can tell, we are back in my white truck driving it. Uh, head gasket, everything is done on it. There's some more stuff I'd like to do to this truck, but the engine is back for the Escalade. So next you guys will be seeing an update on the Escalade. Um, a lot of stuff still at powder coat, so I'm waiting on that to get back before that video will come out. But this truck's been done. It's been driving for a while I just haven't had time to edit all the videoing I did while I was doing the head gaskets so hope you enjoyed like and subscribe make sure you come back